Hello everyone, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. This is going to be the second episode of my series called Lost 5050s, and today we'll have a look at Jean, an amazing animal support and an amazing healer. She loves having lots of attack and lots of energy recharge, and whenever you ascend her, you also get a little bit of a link bonus, up to 22.2% at level 80 out of 90, or just ascension level 6. So, starting with weapons, we have uh, probably the best one that you can give to her. The Skyward Blade gives her a 608 attack, a great stat, because she scales of uh, attack basically. She heals more the more attack she has. She definitely needs energy recharge because her uh, ultimate costs just a little bit, just 80 energy, that's quite a lot. She does regenerate a lot of energy with her elemental skill, but she definitely needs energy recharge. So that's a nice start. As for other weapons, there's the Aquila Favonia, another great weapon for the base attack increase and the other attack increase here, 25% are refinement 2, I think it's 20% are refinement 1. For free to play weapons, um, I guess you can get the flute just by summoning, another great option, a lot of attack, gives attack percentage as a second stat. And that's another great option. The Favonius Sword, also nice, gives a lot of energy to the party and lots of energy recharge. So that's another great weapon. These are just a statistic for attack, nothing else. If you have it, you can use the Festering Desire. Uh, gives, again, a bit of a base attack. This is normal base attack for Forcer weapons. And also energy recharge. And her E deals more damage, so that's nice. Another great sword, but it's a 5 star and it's really uh, hard to get because it's um, it's a banner weapon. Uh, it's the Freedom Sword. This weapon actually very good if you have it. Uh, just for the buff, because you can give a lot of attack to your party. Basically gives everyone 60% more um, normal attack, charge attack and plunge attack damage, plus an additional 20% attack, and that is just great damage increase for basically all your DPSs. For the battle pass option we have the Black Sword. Uh, this weapon I think is not great on her, it's more uh, suited for a DPS character like uh, Ayatom, Keqing. Uh, we also have the Royal Longsword uh, that, again, another Basically, stats that gives attack and attack percent. You can just skip this one. And I also think that the Black Cliffs Sword that you can buy from the shop is not worth on her again because she's not a DPS. As for artifacts, we have the Viridescent Venerir set. This is a great option for any animal support. And I mean, she's just an animal support, so this is basically the best you can give to her. Another great option is the Noblesse set. This one is definitely useful on her. Not the best, because I think it's better for your other party members if you have like an off-field support, like Rosaria for example, Shanling. Constellations, I again don't wanna go to them, because uh, this is more suited for like c zeros if you get Jin as a lost 50-50. Moving on to talents, we have normal attacks, not really worth leveling up. I mean, you can, but not really worth it. Uh, you're not, not gonna out attack a lot. You're mainly gonna use her elemental skill, Gale Blade, and then the Lion Breeze, her elemental burst. And talking about Gale Blade, this is basically uh, her like signature skill. Let's call it because everyone uses Jin because of Gale Blade. Uh, this is a cool little skill that can do some. Some fun stuff. I'll show you in a second. Uh, basically, deals 438% more damage at level seven. It uses stamina per second because you can hold your elemental skill button and this will continue absorbing enemies in the surrounding area. It's a small area so nothing crazy there. But she deals the damage only when she releases the elemental skill. So if you're holding E, you're not dealing any damage to the enemies. Uh, can last at a maximum of 5 seconds and the cooldown is only 6 seconds. So it's very spammable. Moving down to down the Lion Breeze now. This is her elemental burst. Deals uh, actually a lot of damage. This is a considerable amount of damage. And also enemies take damage not when they are standing, but when they are exiting or entering the field. So not like this is not a great way of dealing damage with Jin. And this ability also heals a lot. As you can see, it scales off your attack plus another X amount that scales whenever you level it up. And yeah, this this is your full attack. So for example, now I have a 2347 attack. That means uh, four times my attack basically. 
uh, it's converted into healing and that is just a nice way to heal also if you're standing in the field with any other character you get the healing and this uh, field activation healing heals all your party members so that's always nice cooldowns on the long side on 20 seconds and energy cost again very very high but with at least 200 percent energy recharge you'll be fine you don't have to go crazy like me but if you can reach this amount that's just amazing her first passive talent is wind companion basically whenever she attacks uh, she can regenerate a bit of health for all your party members that's nice but uh, it's not really reliable and takes a lot of time so i suggest you don't use this in for example abyss or domains uh, just stick to your normal Swap to her, use your E, use your elemental burst, swap out. That's mostly what you want to do with Jin. And with the second passive talent, we have Let the Wind Lead. Uh, basically, E refunds 20% of your energy whenever you use your burst. So that means this doesn't cost 80 anymore, it just costs like around 60. So definitely, definitely great passive talent there. For her signature passive talent, we have Guiding Breeze. Uh, this basically gives you a 12% chance to obtain double product whenever you cook any food that has healing properties. So, for example, you're cooking your chickens and uh, you get two whenever this procs, so that's always nice. But a lot of characters also have this kind of effects, so nothing crazy, but it's definitely useful. Okay, let's see how the skills work now. So, we have uh, normal attacks, nothing crazy there. And her charge attacks, which actually have a cool hidden function. Basically, whenever you do a charge attack, um, the enemies will be lifted in the air for a bit. And yeah, they'll be just lifted in the air. It's very cool. And as you can see, I healed a bit whenever I attack them. Uh, it has like 50% chance to proc. So again, nothing crazy, not really worth like relying on this. And what you can do with your E instead is use it, hold it. And as you can see, I'm pulling the enemies, but they're not like standing still in one place. I can move them around and move them wherever I want them to be. Also, you can aim them up in the air, and whenever you do that, you're gonna launch them up in the air. And as you can see, the little slime is falling down slowly now, because, well, he's an animal slime. But if you do it with normal enemies, well, they're gonna take some fall damage, as you can see. And yeah, that's, that's very exploitable. Uh, as you can see, I'm just launching them in the air of cooldown basically because it takes so much to recharge and I already killed them almost Just by launching them in the air. You have a shield. I don't care. And what I mean by exploitable is that, for example, any enemies that are weak to physical damage I take a bit more damage than 3000. So let's try with this easy mage here. Yep, she took 20,000 damage, just like that. You can also use your chat attacks to lift them in the air. and. It's easier to pull them and throw them as soon as possible. So again, another 18,000 damage right there, just by launching enemies in the air. And you can do this to multiple enemies, not just to one. But of course it doesn't work with heavy enemies like Ringards. You can also throw enemies off cliffs, but please don't do that. Alright, time to use my elemental burst here, if this guy can uh, see me. Hello. Also, as you can see, I am affected uh, by Hydro. I can use my... Uh, elemental sight and as you can see I'm blue so that means I have I drew me and when I use my elemental burst on Jean and I stay here my hydro gets cleansed so you can use her elemental burst to cleanse any status you have on yourself she can also swear it onto enemies so that's a cool way to use her you can just run into a pool of fire and well be affected by pyro and she can also transfer that to your enemies while removing it from you. Okay, as you can see, all my characters have taken some damage from this guy. Um, when I'm gonna use my ultimate, I'm gonna get full heal on everyone. So let's do it like close to this guy, because I want to. I'm also standing on my field and getting a lot of healing. It takes once per second, I think it is, or maybe a little bit faster, actually. Also, I noticed that here it doesn't say how long it lasts. So, let's just check it out. Okay, it appears to last around 10 to 11 seconds. Alright, let's go see how good she is at actually providing healing and support to 
uh, other characters. First teams I want to showcase is actually a uh, Shao team, since Jin provides a lot of energy with her elemental skill and a lot of healing with her elemental burst, so she can keep Shao alive for a long time. I'm also using Zhongli and Shenhe, just because I want the shield and the animal shred from Zhongli's shield, as well as the attack buff from Shenhe. I don't know why I always end up here, Hilachus, but you're my, like, source of energy every time, so thanks for that. Alright, here we are at my favorite boss location, so let's get started. And what I'm gonna do this time is use my elemental skill on Zhongli, then I'll get some free hits because he's still not awake. Welcome back to life. Um, do that, do this, use my elemental skill, refresh my shield. Couple of elemental kills, and let's check the damage on my show, which is not bad. Shao guide coming soon, and yeah, the damage is up there. Uh, when I when I create actually, that's fine. Um, yeah, definitely great team. Almost managed to kill him in one shao burst, which is definitely considerable. And, I mean, I can just use my elemental burst here and finish him off. And heal my party to full health. As for the more, like, free-to-play option, let's say, I'm going to use this team, which is basically Kuchusara, Shinshu and Jin. So I'm going for Electro Charge and an Electro character. I'm going to use Yamiko, but you can use Raiden, another amazing option actually for this team, because she provides a lot of energy, and these characters have um, quite high costs in energy for their bursts. You can also use Fischl if you have her. Uh, you can use Beidou, another great option right there. But this is just an Electro Charge team, you can use any Electro character that has some damage in his kit. And since my favorite boss is dead, I'm going to showcase it in floor 11. And this floor right here has a defense on the first chamber. So yeah, you can see why Electro Charge might be nice here. Again, this is my team. Yaimiko, Kujo Zara, Shincho, and Jin. Uh, I also get the Electro Resonance right here, which gives me a bit more elemental particles once in a while, so that's nice. And let's see how it performs. I'm going to pick the healing card because it doesn't really matter. Jin always or almost always uh, fills your HP bar whenever she uses her burst. So let's just pick this one. And I'm going to start by deploying my elemental skills on the ground. Do a couple of this, do a couple of this. You stop pulling me. Thank you very much. That's nice. And I can use my elemental skill here to launch people in the air and crown control them. Which is always amazing. And the target is still basically full health, lost only 4%, which is completely fine. Um, I'm not really struggling, I'm just like having fun, enemies are dying, no problems, which is the most important thing. And yeah, it's gonna take some damage here, but nothing crazy. Using my burst. And uh, crowd controlling enemies, you can also use her elemental skill to stun the big enemies when they're doing those charge attacks. So that's always nice. And since you're annoying, I'm going to do this to you. Bye bye. Yep, he took 7000 damage. And we have another one. Hello. Do you enjoy fall damage? He does not, that's for sure. And my final team is going to be a Quite a messy team, but I love it because it's very fun to play and has a lot of damage potential. It's basically a mix of, well, three of the most broken uh, elemental reactions in the game, which is Freeze, combining Cryo and Hydro, Vaporize, combining Pyro and Hydro, as well as Melt, combining Cryo and Pyro. And Jin is here because she's going to buff uh, Xingqiu, Shanling, or Rosaria, depending on which element she wears. Well, two times in a video, who would have guessed? I'm, again, killing healers for Ange, that's fine. And this team is not great at AoEs, because they all have, like, stationary kind of abilities, especially Rosaria and Jean. So I don't suggest using it too much in Abyss right now, and basically I don't suggest using this team in Abyss right now, because this is more suited for single target damage. And again, we have to wait for the guy to wake up. Uh, I'm just going to do some small, small damage right here. 
Okay, he's awake. So I'm going to use my burst and my ease as soon as possible. Get all I have onto this guy and then swirl. Because, yeah, that's what I want. Big swirls, big whatever is going on. I don't really care. I just need damage to be on his face. And yeah, as you can see, he's almost dead. And we just used basically one rotation. And we can use my burst here, my burst. Get some particles for Shenling. Swirl a bit, cause why not? Use my burst again, and use my burst again. And he should be dead. As you can see, this team has lots of single target damage. Especially if the target just stands still and take the damage. Cause that's always fine. I will repeat myself, don't use this team in Abyss, especially Abyss 12. It's definitely not very optimized for that. You definitely need more AoE there, so using Sucrose or Casual Venti, that's definitely 10 times better than this team. Um, yeah, that's pretty much Jin. So if you get a Jin, just remember that she's a great healer. She heals a ton, she has healing, and she can abuse full damage. Also, she has healing. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, yeah, she's a very great healer, by the way. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.